Hey, foodpreneurs, I'm excited to quickly share some behind the scenes of Females in Food with you so you can see what it takes to grow and scale a business. So you can start to focus more on your selling and putting more money in your pocket for every food or drink product you sell, because that's my hope for you. And hi to those of you who are new around here. I'm Chelsea Ford, the founder of Females in Food and the creator of Foodpreneurs Formula Coaching Program. And the reason I'm sharing all this with you today is because the mistake or the misstep I see foodpreneurs make is trying to save a few dollars despite trying desperately to get stocked and be profitable, but not spending enough time on sales and their money-making tasks because their time is taken up with back office activities such as social media, uh, rather than outsource those to someone else so you can focus on your revenue generating activity. And that's my intention with this for you today. So I'm going to show you how to pivot to making more money. And I've got a solution for your wholesale sales activities. At the end, I will share with you. And uh, so stick around and I'll give you the details about that. So let's begin briefly by you thinking about this, your journey as a foodpreneur. It's on the screen. This is from my roadmap, The Foodpreneur Journey. And in your business, once you've assessed that there is a market big enough for your offer and you've begun making your product, you need to price it, accounting for all intermediaries' costs and ensure you have a strategy document so that documented so that you have a plan of growth and you're clear about the resources that you'll need. That's what I call the commercialized stage. And then, or concurrently, you're looking to generate demand from new stockists and new consumers. That's a big deal. In the Foodpreneurs Formula program, that's seven modules. So I know it's a lot to do. And if you're wanting to have more certainty and freedom in your business, and you're not outsourcing so far, you're doing all the finances, all the selling, and all the marketing. The next phase on your journey is where I want you to ensure your business is systemized so you can optimize your tasks for scale. So this is where the rubber really hits the road between those who are preparing for scale and those who are stuck or in a holding pattern. To be honest, most foodpreneurs don't get to this stage. Many think they're scaling, but they're not. They're just really busy. Scaling, by definition, is adding more revenue at a faster rate than taking on new costs. But hey, potato, potato. The reason I'm showing you this roadmap and I'm about to show you who I outsource some of my tasks to is to help you position in your mind's eye how you will put more money in your pocket. Because when you don't, you just have a super expensive hobby, right? And I'm not a food or drink business, um, and not, I should say, and you don't have a business, you just have a hobby. So first up, I have a virtual assistant. Her name is Carolyn, and she's organized, reliable, and communicates clearly. Just what I need to hand over social media scheduling and community success to. As I take you through these four roles, I want you to think about outsourcing for your business in order for you to scale. So secondly, I have a wonderful graphic designer called Soha. I'm big on brand building. I don't think you'd be surprised at hearing that. Uh, that's where the value lies. Hence why it's always an interesting conundrum for foodpreneurs who are approached to do private label. It's great for the volume throughput, but that's not where you'll make your big value. But it does help with cost reduction, thereby improving your bottom line. So don't discount it all together. I've had a number of members I've helped make the decision to take on private label manufacturing or not. Some even now manufacture for their competitors. That's amazing, right? I've got experience in balancing volume and value. It's something I've worked a lot in over my career with branded producers. But back to brand. Brand is not all about the pretties. It's also about your brand voice and where you and how you show up. 
uh, and they're integral also to the graphics. So Soha, my graphic designer, is someone who is new to my business and I chose her because her values and aesthetic align with mine. You know, it's no su surprises to any of you that I'm, a, I'm big on branding. Females in food brand is so recognisable today. Next is Adam, and he understands digital marketing, and he's joined in the past six weeks to work on my advertising from the technical standpoint. Females in Food is relatively new to this area, and so we're still learning about what's working and what's not. It's a necessary expense because the thing that I've found in my business is that I've gone very deep with my existing members, but historically not being focused enough on top of the funnel attraction, primarily because I really admire the action takers and I want them to succeed. So I've been working very hard behind closed doors to get extraordinary results for them for a very long time. And I still do that. But in addition, now is the time to show many more women how to get stocked, sold and put more money in their pockets too. You don't just get an online program with me, you get a food business coach. This aligns so strongly with my values, experience and skill set. And lastly, but importantly, I have a video editor who has been with me for a number of years. His name is Alex. Video has been an important and differentiating factor of females in food. Foodpreneurs are visual people, so I've always wanted to illustrate how to do something, just like I'm doing now, rather than just tell. Okay, so if you if you were wanting to begin to outsource, where should you start? Step one, look at what tasks you spend the most time on that are not your zone of genius, that may be weighing you down. Step two, document that process and create a system. And step three, engage someone to help you so you can spend more time selling profitable food products. And on that note, I'm hosting my sales summit again next week. I ran this live masterclass successfully in June. And what I saw was how hungry foodpreneurs are for a wholesale sales activity plan to win more accounts systematically. So you put your revenue generation on rinse and repeat. So that's what I'll be diving deep on. I'd love for you to join me. So if you want to win more wholesale accounts and you don't have a system to reach your revenue number, Comment sales summit below and I'll get you the details or send me a DM with the word sales summit. I'll know what you mean and I'll send you the details. Okay, so good to see you all today. Take care and see you soon.